Okay, in this tutorial, I will, ex I will explain how to make a shading device, but this one is our second exercise, and in this case, actually, we are going to create a little bit um, transformed one. So we are going. I'm going to use point attraction. So actually, if you you can actually control uh, some kind of uh, the deformed vector and dimensions uh, a little bit differently. Uh, using uh, using a parameter changes here, so the way how uh, I do is I'll first I will select the surface, and now first I divide the dough surface, and I use a point attraction, and actually you can deform uh, the point grid using a little bit a minus way or plus way. So actually now the point grid is actually a little bit slightly deformed, and we are going to apply our uh, pattern curve on its deformed module. So the result is look like this. And after doing that, you can use laser cutting, laser cutter, or you can just use also um, use it for three D printing. So I will explain this one uh, how to do this one. Okay, so I will draw everything. I will kind of delete everything, and I will start from scratch. So um, like this one. Okay. Yeah, let's start. So first, of all, I will use I will uh, create a surface. Which one is from zero? I tap the zero, and then the width is 32 inches and the height is 36 inches. So this is our base pattern. And then you can just draw a pattern curve quickly. And then uh, we will connect them into Grasshopper. So I'll just use surface. Uh, just we, will, we, will, the, we need is actually simply simple surface. So I click this one, and I will set one surface and select this one. And also, I will just type curve, and then I will set uh, this one as my pattern curves. So first thing is actually simply divide this surface, and then create a grid point. And the UV count, you can just you can just simply use slide number, simply typing number. For now, actually, I may want to use the six. Then either I will use for both in U and V count, and you just see that you can change grid point. And then after this one, uh, previously we used a move 2D directly, but in this case I will interrupt this one uh, using point attraction. So point attraction is actually kind of a component that can deform the grid of points using one point. Uh, connect to grid, and we need a point, so I'll just simply double click, and I'll set a point and right mouse button click and then you can just click either anywhere this will be the center of uh, the deformation so I just connect here and magnitude is actually uh, how how the direction or the, the, the scale of deformation so I just simply type 0.0, .0 and actually I change uh, the value minimum for now minus 10 and maximum I think plus 10 so you can see either minus and plus minus and plus effect. So now if you magnitude to do here, this one is actually does not change anything, but if you increase it, this one uh, actually kind of uh, bring either grid into uh, the grid into the point. If you do it minus, it will kind of move it away. So a little bit I uh, use minus 1.3 for now. And then here pattern curve, we are going to use the pattern curve we selected at the beginning. I'll uh, just apply it. So now let's take a look at this one. So this one, if you change that, you will see that parametrically it is kind of changing the form and the sizes. So again, you, you can use this one for laser cutting and 3D printer, uh, but for laser cutting, because they are all attached to each other, so I will just scale down using scale function. And then as you saw before, we are going to use area component to reduce down uh, from the or its center point. And then you can use uh, use slide bar to change the uh, scale factor. So this is our last one, and then actually you can control the size of its curve. And also you can do here you can even increase it the size of numbers. Okay, so in this tutorial I explained about uh, how to use uh, point attraction in Wolf 2D and to create a shading uh, parametrically changing shading device. Okay, thank you.